First things first, you're going to need a few things. You'll need a Raspberry Pi, a Raspberry Pi 4, no less. And because this, this is a full fat Ubuntu desktop, you'll need either a four gigabyte or eight gigabyte model. You'll need a monitor, uh, a power supply, like, like this one, uh, a USB keyboard, a USB mouse, a micro SD card, and a HDMI to micro HDMI cable. Now we have everything, we can start. First, let's prepare the SD card with the right Ubuntu desktop image. To do this, insert, insert your SD card into your computer and get yourself the Raspberry Pi Imager tool. I uh, have already put the SD card in my computer uh, and I've got the RPI Imager up and running here. So I'm first of all going to choose my operating system. So from the list here, you'll see Ubuntu and then here's Ubuntu 2010 desktop for the Raspberry Pi. And then I'm going to choose the SD card and that's already in there. So it's a 64 gig SD card, selected that, click right. And yes, I really want to do this. And now I need to put in my super secret password and off it goes. So that's now writing out to the SD card. Okay, now that that's finished, we can run through the first boot setup. Martin? Right, so um, I've got the Raspberry Pi here, the SD card is in, so we'll uh, just turn that on. There's a switch on the back of this case. So that will power up the uh, Pi. And then if we switch to the Pi itself, uh, we should see, there we go. There's the usual uh, boot screen for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, and in just a moment, the initial setup wizard will appear. So Martin, do you want to talk us through the process here? Yeah, so the first thing I've done is pick my language, which is English. And then from there, we'll move through the rest of the initial setup. Uh, and so it's asking me for my keyboard layout. I have a UK keyboard here. So uh, I will just test my special characters. Uh, they're working correctly. So I move on again. And uh, next, uh, I need to say where in the world I am. And London is close enough. Uh, this is so it configures your time zone. So I will put in my name um, and I'm going to call this Ubuntu Pi, this computer. And uh, it's derived my username for me. I'm going to put in a uh, password. I wonder if I can type it twice the same. I can. And, um, and then I'm going to say I want it to ask me for my password each time I try to log in. And from that point onwards, it will now take you through the rest of the install. So it behind the scenes, it's doing the initial configuration, setting up the keyboard and the locale and the time zone that you've just um, selected. So we'll just let that roll. So the slideshow has finished and we're just in the last phases of having the setup complete itself. So it's now doing some post installation cleanup and in a moment it will boot to the desktop. So the uh, first setup has completed. So now I'm going to log into the desktop for the first time. So I choose my name, type in my super secret password. And here it is. So here's the uh, desktop. And now we're going to be asked to go through the initial uh, sort of desktop configuration. I'm not going to do all of these steps now, but uh, here's a little look at what you can expect to see. So first of all, if you've got any online accounts, so your Ubuntu account or Google, Microsoft, or if you've got your own Nextcloud, um, we'll talk about that in just a moment, then you can uh, authenticate with those now. I'm going to skip that step. And then it says, uh, to help improve Ubuntu, would you send us some information about your hardware? I'm totally clicking uh, yes on this one. Or you can uh, see the full details of what's going to be sent, which is basically hardware information. So I'm going to send that off. Count one for the good guys. Uh, I'm not going to turn on location services at the moment. I don't expect to take this outside of the house. And then it presents some uh, software options. And we'll talk a little bit about um, software availability for ARM in just a moment. And that completes the initial configuration and setup of Ubuntu desktop on the Raspberry Pi.